What's up, Spooky Wawa? Now it's a strawberry festival Wawa with a extra bathroom. Extra bathroom outside. That's a toilet trailer, right there. All right, bye, there's bye, Spooky be, Wawa. Gonna be more people. Yeah. Actually, that makes it even spookier. And this about sums up our adventure for today. Plant City Strawberries. Sounds about right. Hello, everyone. Welcome and Hi. welcome back. I'm back with Tampa J again. I'm, I'm back with Chris the girl again. Yeah, finally, <laughs> finally. We are here at the Strawberry Festival. And it's the first day. First day yeah, of day. the Strawberry Festival. It goes sure on is. until the 13th of March, so it's not a very, very long ten festival, days. only 10 days to get your strawberry on. So we are here on the opening evening to basically enjoy all of the strawberry festivities that we can, right? There's a ton of strawberries here. There's a ton of strawberries, like yeah, the ones maybe millions. right behind us. Any right way, here. any which way you want them. Pizza. Basic, yeah, pizza. This place sells cake, pizza. Yeah, there's shortcake, the milkshakes. Uh, oh, yeah, that sounds good. All kinds of stuff. They put it in like savory stuff too. Anyway, we'll go over all of that stuff. But the point is, is we are here, Plant City Strawberry <laughs> Festival, and yes, to have fun. So I think, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. That, that's basically it. Yeah. Okay. Here's, a, here's let's our go. experience. Well, look at this. We are already greeted with a really awesome photo opportunity. You can be a horrifying strawberry milkshake if you want. He's holding the strawberry pizza, which is a dessert pizza apparently with like a graham cracker crust, a cheese, uh, like a cream cheese uh, filling thing and strawberries on top. I'm thinking about trying that later. They also sell jam. Here's the... Here's the menu here for you. Okay, this is what we're dealing with here, folks. We just walked through this gate right here. Gate number one is where we walked through. There's a helicopter flying around in the sky. And immediately we are greeted with chicken and fried rice, apparently. There's a bunch of different kinds of food items right here, right off the bat. We were just looking at the Brandon Farms strawberry milkshake we have decided to just basically do a loop do a loop, -de -loop of the fair so we walked into the gate gate number one as i said and now we are going that way we're gonna go left deserving students that volunteered in their community and also several great other organizations in and around plant city so while jay is entering for his uh car as he does every year if you know you know um, I wanted to say really quick because I realized I said it in his video, I didn't say it in mine, but um, I this is the first time that I've been back to the Strawberry Festival since I was a little girl. I was a, was a little kid last time that I was here, so it's been a while. Um, and it, I was very, very eager to uh, check this out again now as an adult. I remember having a pretty good time here and um, I have like some vague memories of it being um, a little bit more agricultural and uh well you know strawberry based produce based i guess uh than you know a typical normal like state fair say would be um it's a little bit smaller like smaller kind of more intimate of an event than a huge state fair so i was really eager to come back out here again check it out and uh yeah have some fun hopefully Hopefully see some strawberries. I haven't seen any strawberries yet. Oh man, look, it's the berry mascot. Hi, your festival is really lovely so far this year. Bye. All right, it doesn't seem very enthused. That's okay. So how do you feel about your chances? I mean, I've come out here the last four years I've played. Uh -huh. um, one year, if I keep coming every year, yeah. play, doing the same thing, buying yeah. the same amount of tickets, uh -huh. I feel like, it might take 50 years, but... It'll be worth it. Maybe I'll win. Yeah. All now, right. I think over... If you do that math, 50 years times 25, I think I still get a pretty good discount. I don't yeah. think I can actually buy a Corvette. So I would think so, yeah. I'll be, I'll be way up still. Okay. Fingers crossed <laughs> for you. Next up, Neighborhood Village. Looks like they've got some crafties in here, as well as restrooms apparently. But uh, quilts, knitting, jewelry, oh, scrapbooking needle points listen did you know that i am a craft fiend i love crafts like all crafts i knew you were pretty crafty yeah yeah i figured so <laughs> walked inside of the building and indeed there are quite a lot of crafts in here very 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 excited to check this out 
There's also a fun little, uh, another photo opportunity here with a bunch of balloons. We've got some woodworking in here. Yep, definitely looks like everything is made out of the wood material and uh, looks like they've already given out some ribbons yeah. on stuff. Very cool. Oh man, that's there's nice. a little raccoon. Where? Do you see the raccoon right, right oh, there? Oh yeah, that's Yeah, good. that's it cute. Got a blue ribbon too. Yeah. Oh, and look at this. We have found some baked items in here. Looks like people have baked their favorite baked items and uh, submitted them for review to be judged. Oh man, everything looks really, really good. Peanut butter cake, that sounds amazing. Lemon melt away, shortbread bites. Wow, good job everyone. It all looks really good. And right on the opposite side, looks like we have finally found the jams and uh, relish and other uh, canned goods, it looks like. Oh man, now this is something I would love to get into, not inside of this case, but like into like making jams and jellies and, and canning in general, preserves, like that could be, that could definitely be something I could, I could make into a hobby for sure. Oh my goodness, okay, for my legit reaction, check out his video because I, was, I about flipped I saying, oh, my well, lid this, yeah I, I got your reaction. oh they have you plants here they have a horticultural show here oh my gosh I'm about to geek out even more looks like they have some really cool little displays of multiple plants here this is adorable these are like themed to like little fairy gardens here they got a bunch of cacti and succulents on this one that is adorable and giving me so many ideas right now. I'm like really excited. That's a little, um, it's a peanuts one. It's a what? Do you see? It's a, it's got little peanuts characters. Oh, oh, I see. And there, yeah, yeah, there's, uh, there's Bella right there. Little Snoopy in the middle. Snoopy, it's that's so Snoopy. cute. And there's some hanging plants up here at the top. Look at that. Talansia. That's an air plant. That Talansia. big one right like there that that's word. sitting in the, the bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but that one's that huge. Oh, wow. And look at this huge aloe vera plant. That's really, really nice. A um, bunch of other cacti up in here. There's some more aloe over there. I really like the uh, basket plants up there. That's definitely a project I'm going to do this spring. These cacti here are really cool. I've never seen them grow down like that per se. Really, really like that. Here's a really nice uh, ficus elastica, also called a rubber plant. Um, and this one is a ruby pink variegated version of it. One of my favorites, very, very cool. Uh, there's a peperonia, variegated peperonia over there in a Calathea. And without getting too deep down this rabbit hole, which I definitely have already achieved, I just had to show some of the snake plants, the Dracanias right here. This one looks like it got the one of the bigger awards here and it's really, really cool looking. I actually have that same plant back at home as well. Also this uh, Croton here got one of the major awards. And it makes me wonder, what do you have to do to enter your own plants in here and what how do they determine like who wins what award etc etc because this is definitely something I want to do like really really bad so maybe next year but in any case there's a lot more here than just plants well, a lot more actually um, there's cakes as well look at these awesome cakes that people have baked and decorated. This one looks amazing. It's like Southwestern themed. Wow, that is so cool. Good job, Kelly Burton. Oh man, and this is like themed to like a little theme park or something. That's like a gator coaster back there. And there are, there's a carousel with like little frog cars on it and a funnel cake stand and a ferris wheel i don't care for the theme i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but that is adorable and super impressive look it's tampa j if he was a strawberry cookie all he needs are his uh, little ray-bans and a little camera 
and that would be Tampa J as a cookie. Quilts, quilts, and more quilts. Also jewelry in the front here. Wow, these all look so beautiful. Quilting is another hobby I would love to get into. And there's a bunch of other uh, crafts in the back there that we'll check out. I just kind of wanted to show really quick, like this is a decent sized building and there's a lot going on in here. There's where the baking is over there. This whole section, which I didn't show at all, is like the royalty, the strawberry royalty that they have. And um, here are the plants, the most important part in my humble opinion, and um, just a whole bunch of other stuff. So if you have time, definitely come inside of this building, check it out. Me personally, I'm a craft person. I love, I love crafts, all kinds of crafts. It's one of my big, big hobbies. So this is like heaven to me. Here is a close up of some of the needlework and stitch work clothing, apparel, things like that. There's even like scrapbooking stuff over here. Looks like there's games in here, all kinds of stuff. Really, really, really impressive. Well, that was really, really fun. I was just telling Jay I could literally enter in every single one of those categories. If I had the time, if I could make it like a legit hobby, I would be a happy camper. I am basically an 80 year old woman inside of a 30 something year old woman's body. So that's my jam back there. there Pun intended, because they had jam back there. We have entered the rides now. Uh, we've got a cute little elephant ride here. You got the Ferris wheel in the background. Some uh, fun little circle rides for the kiddos. Oh yeah, starting to look like a fair now. Wow, that is a cute ride. I've never seen this before. It's called Raptor Run. Looks like the kids are getting inside of raptor themed vehicles. They'll probably be going around in a very uncomfortable circle. The question is, who did it better? Velocicoaster or this? You decide. Right next to the uh, saltwater taffy stand, which I happen to notice is actually pulling some taffy right now and it's very mesmerizing. This is not what I wanted to show. Reminds me of Old Town. It, do it does remind me of Old Town. Yeah, remember that? I do remember that. You're darn right, I do. There. Yeah. I think it's still there. We need to check it out at some yeah, point. Yeah. yeah, I need to. We need to share our nostalgic. Yep. Childhood. Yep. Old Town, Florida. Yep. We got a lot of a lot pictures. of memories there. A lot of memories too. Oh yeah. But anyway, what I, what I wanted to show was <laughs> the uh, hot Wisconsin cheese stand. They've got cheddar nuggets, but they also have mozzarella fingers which uh, if I'm craving some actual food later, which I'm pretty sure I will be, yeah. this is probably a pretty good contender for oh, some legit yeah. food. Again, one of my favorite things about this festival is the agriculture, and they have a little display out here actually showing you kind of what the process is for growing the strawberries. There's also a lot of tractors out around here. Got everyone's attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let freedom ring. Uh, that's fun. So indeed, it looks like they've got some little strawberry plants out here, and you can see actual strawberries on them. They're so cute. They're also in bloom, too. I didn't know that strawberries uh, produced flowers, so that's really cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of them, a bunch of them out here. And over here, they actually have, like, these tractors actually belong to people, which makes sense. I guess they have to belong to someone, right? But uh, it gives you all of, like, the information on the, on the tractors here. So if that's your thing, and if you know anything about tractors, this could be very interesting for you. These tractors on this side, though, are humongous. Really, really, really tall. All right, we're gonna let it ring. All right, Chris, you let it ring. That was really loud. We're heading inside of the main exhibition hall now where the strawberry shortcakes are allegedly at. St. Clement Catholic Church strawberry shortcake, make your own. 
$5 donation. We are about to get inside of this line and make our own strawberry shortcakes. To put your hand in this thing here, inside of the glow thing, and get some glows. Thank you. Okay, went with the shortcake. Tampa J is loading up his. I'll do a tiny, tiny bit. It's not usually my favorite, but you gotta try it. Just a, a tiny bit. Okay, that's good. Next, this giant thing of whipped cream. If I could bathe in it, I would. Get it in there, stay on target, there we go. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, we are all set. So I made my strawberry shortcake. I did not put too many of the preserved strawberries in there, as I mentioned before, uh, but that's okay, because it's just not my thing. I thought that they would give me more, like, oh, no, the actual strawberries. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, 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 this, is, per this is great. Well, this is I got, perfect. I got plenty You in there. Yeah, you like, I, like, loaded it. Yeah, I should've you gave did. you that tip. My bad. <laughs> no, no, I this is excited. fine because, you yeah, know, no, this is great. Honestly, the whipped cream, like, that's... The whipped cream is my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite part. As you can so, tell. yeah, and we got some stickers as well. You yeah. gotta get the sticker. Your sticker buddies. <laughs> Wanna try it? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Mmm. Did you get the biscuit? Oh, it's so oh, good. Oh, no, I got the angel food. I got the angel food too. Yeah, that's really, really good. I would recommend the angel food for an angel. I what you did there. <laughs> it's just a big old spoon of whipped cream. The more whipped cream, the merrier. You got a whipped cream stash yet? Inside of here, there are lots and lots of vendors as well, selling all kinds of stuff, and it's not even just strawberry related either. These really cool little glass strawberries They're so nicely done really really adorable max capacity two people okay <laughs> too small i guess we'll do a screenshot yeah there we go take a screenshot seeing some new planter ideas here it looks like they're little uh children's pants and feet and they have plants in them Huh. Now we're right outside of the ticket office in front of these, this uh, big arena behind me here. They actually do concerts, I think, like every night that this is going on. They have some major people coming out here too, like the Beach Boys are coming at some point. I think Lady A is playing tonight, um, so definitely check that out. I'll put the website and all of that information down below for you. Um, but yeah, the vendor room was really, really cool. We're gonna go back there a little bit later because they actually had a plant uh, shop in there where you could actually buy strawberry plants. And I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to, I have to get one, I have to get one. So we'll do that a little bit later so I don't have to carry strawberry with me for the rest of the night. Popped inside of uh, this little area right outside of where the concert uh, is taking place at a Alisi Bakeries and Deli, and we got ourselves some- Cheers. Iced coffee, and this coffee is thanks to Keith, who uh, bought me a couple of coffees and sponsored the channel. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your support. And uh, you also mentioned in your comments that you bought two, so Jay oh. could have one as well. Thanks, so Keith. this actually worked out very well. Thanks, yeah, Keith. I so it, man. thank you very much for the coffee. We will we passed these as we were going that direction towards the concert area, and I about uh, squealed my head off, no pun intended. But look at these log hogs, spayed, neutered, potty trained, shots updated, free food for life. Oh no! Oh no! They're so cute. These ones over here have little bows on them. Looks like they are $20 each. Includes bows slash toes. Oh my gosh, their little hooves are painted too. This is one of the cutest things I've ever, ever seen. The Log Hog Adoption Agency. Really like this sort of thing 
is made for people like me, for suckers like me, because I am like, I am emotionally like invested in every single one of these. Yeah, Wait, wanna, it's hard to pick one. It's, it normal. is really hard to pick one, I know. Picked out my hog log of choice here, and there is a big tub here full of bows that you can pick out, the bow bucket. Pick one for your pigs, so I'm gonna pick out a bow now. She is beautiful, she is lovely, she is everything that you wanna be. She's a hog log. She's so cute. He put little, uh, little earrings on her and he hammered down the bow inside of her skull and uh, got her uh, hooves all uh, nicely manicured. It is absolutely adorable. It's one of the weirdest things that I've ever wanted <laughs> and actually got. And it's all thanks to Aww. my boyfriend. You're Aww. welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. I you was had just, to have it. I, I, I saw really your did. Eyes I know, yeah. I'm like, I had to get that for you. I, I really, it's adorable. I, I seriously had to have Isn't it. it. Alrighty, rabbit and poultry shows. This Here way. we come. Look at all of the chickens. They're so cute. Look at these fluffy ones. The fluffy ones are always my favorite. Aww. They're so cute. They're huge too. Some of these are really, really big. Aww. I see bunnies on the other side too. They're so cute. They're so cute. Okay, someone's yelling over here. Are you the one making all that noise? Do it again. That is... <laughs> ah, it's that guy. It's, Which one? it's this. It's the fluffy one. Fluffy. The big fluffy one here. It is a black silky. Yeah, hey. silky. The silkies are so cute. They're so fluffy. Wow, this is a pretty one. It's got like spots on it. Wow, look at its feathers. That's gorgeous. This one over here. It's really pretty too. I like this one here. He's got like, he's so fluffy. He's got like a little fluffy hat on. They're so cute. And he's got like fluffy feet. As we're walking down here around the rest of the, the chickens and, or the poultry I should say, and the bunnies up here, there's a whole bunch of plants on the other side of this fence. Oh, oh boy. Look at the bunnies. They're so cute! It's a big, big, okay, this one reminds big bunny. Me of the uh, Cadbury. Yes, definitely. So cute! Look at the little bunnies. Their little ears, their little eyes, and their little snooty nose. They're so cute. <laughs> this one was standing on its hind legs. Thinks it's people. Look at this fluffy bun buns. They're so adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't need a bunny. I really don't need a bunny, but... Oh my gosh, and this one has, like, hair. He has hair. Coming right out of his little ears. That is so adorable. Plants, plants, and yet more plants. These are not so much the indoor plants that we saw earlier, but outdoor outdoor plants although I am seeing some indoor ones mm -hmm. over here as well oh look got some ZZ plants, oh, ZZ plants. over here yeah Ooh. some uh, some little ones philodendron nice looking philodendron over here but also yep also always gotta always gotta point out the snake plants I should also point out that all of these plants are actually entered in a youth plant show and wow is that really really incredibly impressive i wish that when i was a youth i was doing something like this think of how amazing my green thumb would be now if i had started <laughs> way back in the yeah, day perhaps. um but very very cool to see the young folk doing uh doing the plants very cool also always got to point out my herbs in the background here looks like some uh, cilantro oh some mint that's one of my favorites some parsley yeah very cool and some uh, more succulents over here some succulent displays I had no idea that this video was gonna be like 
half plants <laughs> and I'm so happy that it was. <laughs> well, you know what? You actually, uh -huh. normally I just like film a lot of rides and yeah. strawberries, but yeah. I'm very glad I came with you because now I have this whole new perspective uh -huh. on a lot of things. So, I mean, I, I've walked through here, but I didn't film it right. all, you know, but... Yeah. I'm seeing some things now that I've never seen before. Yeah, like uh, all of these plants and also probably the, uh, the hog logs, oh, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have moved on next door from the plants and the poultry to the livestock arena. Looks like they're actually doing a pig show right now. Looks like they got the kiddos actually out there. With the little piggies. Yeah, I would, I would go down there with my newly acquired hog log but I don't want to outshine any of the hogs that are out there and the and the youth you know it's a youth competition so I don't want to and also yeah that one might get eaten oh that yeah you're you're probably right good point it is a sweet gum tree so. yes it is made out of sweet gum very you know good point oh yeah this looks like a pear all right and hey look there's the zipper our good old pal, the zipper. So, zipper? No. No? <laughs> how about you? Uh, no. No. I saw how that worked out for you and uh, Jacob and... No. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I was so sore that next morning. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was hard to get out of bed. Look at this adorable little bee ride. It looks like they're actually giving the, the peace sign, too. That's pretty cute. And a little terrifying. Okay. Going we, in. I just, it just dawned on me. Yeah. We haven't actually been to the. Yeah, oh, here we go. We haven't actually been to the real haunted mansion yet. Never no, know. we haven't. Let's do this one first. We need to. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's so dark in here. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
Yeah, maybe. No? Maybe? Uh, whatever. Little not. peppers. Okay, cool. And the poppy seed. Okay. Mustard. And mustard. Okay. And uh, I, from my understanding, putting ketchup on a Chicago hot dog is a sin. Is it? Yeah, so no ketchup. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yep. Learn something new every day. Back inside of the vendor hallway now where we got our strawberry shortcakes down there. It is time. Parksdale Greenhouses. Look, they've got a bunch of plants in here and I am going to get me a strawberry hanging basket. Just gotta pick out the right one. So for me, when I'm plant shopping, and at some point I will vlog this experience, especially now that it's springtime, I like to pick out a plant that is kind of on the smaller side because I like to watch it to watch it grow. And before I grab my plant, I should mention they have a bunch of other plants too. They've got some peppers in here and they also have some flowers too. Got some pretty daisies. There's some crotons over there. Something I've always yes. wanted. A money, a money tree. tree. Yep, I used to have one of these that's a great feng shui cure actually. Um, very, very cool plants. This is the one that I was telling you about that's outside of your apartment, yeah. remember? So how long mm -hmm. does it take for the dollars to come out? A long, I had mine for a little while and it took a long time. So yeah, see, good luck plant. Some people have money trees, some people have succulents. Yeah, <laughs> we have neither. Alrighty, the strawberry plant has been acquired. Right now it's Look. in a cute little Parksdale plastic market. bag here, yep. Since 1968. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. I mean, there it's they, like it's right across the street. Almost. Yeah, it was a uh, actual like greenhouse or whatever that was set up in there. So we'll have to check that out at yeah, some point. Yeah, they've got all kinds of stuff. Do some plant shopping, but uh, now now it's time for me to get some food, and I've had my heart set on some fried cheese. I have secured my fried cheese. These are the mozzarella fingers and I got some pizza sauce. They gave you some options for different sauces and that's what I that's what I went with. You're so hungry, right? Like you're gonna have yeah, to eat these because um, there's so many of these. I will never say no to mozzarella sticks okay. or any kind of cheese. Good, all right. <laughs> Just breaking first, it though. open, yeah. They smell. They do. Okay, good. These are really, really good. I will say, sure. as I'm eating these, they don't, um, they don't taste like, like uh, cheese sticks, like mott sticks. They really taste more cheesy than like yeah the fried breading. The batter's that not as thick, but it's, uh -huh. it's the breading's better than like yeah the frozen kind. Yeah. Oh. Fresh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. If you like cheese and you like uh, fried items, it's a pretty solid choice. Okay, with that, we are going to head out. We had such a great time here at the Strawberry Festival. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Yes. Um, so yeah, um, come out great here if you, if you have the chance to do so. It really doesn't last all too long, um, but they have so many offerings here. So much food, entertainment, uh, log hogs, plants, uh, all there's, kinds of stuff. There's fun for everyone. There's fun for everybody. Oh yeah, rides. Yep, it's got a, rides. It's, it's a fair, so there's <laughs> rides. I've always loved your Strawberry Festival videos, and it is an honor to be here with you, to be able to do this with you, be your fair buddy. Um, I really appreciate it, and I had a really good time. Yeah, you're, seeing all the plants. Me too, you're more than stuff. a fair buddy. Yeah. You're a great buddy. <laughs> And thank you for trying to win me Pennywise, too. I tried. You're welcome. <laughs> but thank you for coming with me. Yeah, well, thank you for inviting me. So, all right. We're going to head out. It's a school night tonight. Oh, so yeah. we got school we, tomorrow. We've got to, yeah, we've got to right, drive home. we so. got to edit the videos, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've got the log hog that I need to put to bed and my, my strawberry plant. So you need a plant? Sitting here. I got to do something with. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> We're going to head out. I'm going to head out now. Let's go. Bye, bye everybody. Want to see some magic? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. It hurts so bad. Yeah, I, I bet it does. Yeah. Very impressive. But that does remind me. Be sure to check out Tampa J's video as well. He had his camera here. I mean, he did a lot more really cool stuff than Thank I you. did. We, uh, yeah. It's always good to see both sides of our adventure, I think. So, 
Okay. Thank you. Oh, we're still rolling. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. And we never did get the, uh, the strawberry pizza thing here. Now I can't get, I can't do strawberry milkshakes. And no, it's not because it's dairy, although that is a huge, huge reason. I actually have a bad experience with strawberry ice cream. Okay, so when I was like five years old, like pretty young here, um, I was on a field trip with my church and we all stopped and we got ice cream. And at that point, I already kind of knew I didn't really like ice cream. I wasn't able to finish a lot of ice cream, but I thought maybe strawberry ice cream would be safe. So I got a cone of strawberry ice cream. We all got back on the bus and I tried to finish it, but I couldn't finish it. And basically, long story short, it started melting and dripping oh, all no. over my hand. And I started crying oh, no. because I couldn't finish my ice cream. I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't throw it away even because I was on a bus. <laughs> and um, it was very traumatizing and I can never eat strawberry ice cream again. Oh, no. So, so never buy you strawberry ice cream. Yeah. That's no. traumatizing. I'm yeah, sorry. no strawberry ice cream, Neapolitan ice cream. Oh. Forget it. I just I can't I just can't do it. So okay. <laughs> well, that's like me and uh Devil Days. Oh yeah? Those traumatizing. Oh. Uh, can't remember why, but okay. anytime I smell deviled eggs. Okay. It's, it's a sticky smell. It is, yeah. It's like, oh no! Yeah. Yeah, so I get you. Okay, no strawberry ice cream, no deviled, no eggs. deviled eggs. In our casa. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's a good story at the end. <laughs> the next time we'll get strawberry pizza. Yeah. We said we were, maybe, possibly. We did, yeah. We yeah, we got so much other stuff, so much other strawberry yeah. stuff. So next time for the plans. pizza. Next time. Next time. Yeah, okay. All right, finally bye -bye ending it. Yeah, bye bye. Right, there's much ahead, everyone. Much, uh, much strawberry ahead. Yeah, bye bye. Strawberry ahead. Oh, okay. There? Yep, yep. Here, bye. here, here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye bye.